Kevin De Bruyne's injury worries Manchester City. Kevin De Bruyne will miss Manchester City's FA Cup quarterfinal against Newcastle, as the Belgian midfielder struggles to return from injury, while Pep Guardiola's side chase another treble. De Bruyne has been ruled out of Belgium's squad for the upcoming friendlies against the Republic of Ireland and England due to a groin strain. Belgium coach Domenico Tedesco said De Bruyne had suffered from the problem in the last few matches. Guardiola revealed that the 32-year-old felt the injury before being substituted in the second half of the 1-1 draw with Liverpool in the English Premier League last weekend. De Bruyne has already missed a large part of the season after aggravating his hamstring injury in City's league opener against Burnley in August. He has now been sidelined for Newcastle's visit to the Etihad Stadium on Saturday and Guardiola has not confirmed whether he will be available for the crucial clash with Premier League leaders Arsenal on March 31st. He already played at Anfield and has some problems. But he is improving. He is not ready for tomorrow's match, Guardiola said on Friday. We spoke with the Belgium coach and he made the decision. That's why I'm grateful that he wasn't feeling well. I hope he can now recover in the last part of the season. All the players today in modern football, they are not clean. They always have problems. The day after the match he didn't feel good, so it's better to take a step back. There was some positive news for City as Guardiola confirmed Jack Grealish will return from a thigh injury and will be part of the squad. Grealish has not played since their 6-2 win over Luton Town in the FA Cup fifth round. There was another big development on Friday as City were drawn to face Real Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinals. Guardiola said that he is enjoying another confrontation with Real Madrid after City faced the Spanish Giants for the third year in a row. The two teams have met in the semi-finals over the past two years, with Real Madrid winning in 2022, but City avenged that loss, which ended with a 4-0 win at the Etihad Stadium last season. It feels like a bit of a tradition, to play three years in a row with the kings of the competition, Guardiola said. I hope we arrive at a good moment but we still have a few weeks before the first match in Madrid. When people say that draws are easy, you undermine the other opponent, but it is not necessary to say what Real Madrid is in this competition. When you play in the final stages, you play against the best teams in Europe and Real Madrid is absolutely there.